steam that up a little bit. Throw this <coughs> stinky rag outside. That stuff smells. Let that dry out. So, I've been reading about this a little bit now. A little bit more, how to take it apart. There's like a, a nut in here, this ring nut. It's supposed to be a special tool with a notch on either side to turn that. And I can see the last guy that tried to take this apart beat the hell out of it. Pretty much ruined it. I'm gonna see if I can find one or order a new one and, and uh, punch it out. Once I get this uh, little clutch shaft off here, there's a nut in behind it that takes out the main shaft, so I really need to get this out. And when I get that out, that'll allow me room to slide out the, the kicker shaft. And I'll be able to check all the, the bushings and bearings there on this end. So that's the next one. Okay. Getting a punch. This little ring here is holding in this shaft for the clutch and uh, I don't have that tool and somebody's already banged the hell out of it so geez they even chipped up the aluminum there. I'm just going to use my punch here to get it out. It's not in too tight luckily. <laughs> what I should have done, just remembered it but I should have marked this alignment here. It's just about vertical. Yeah. Kicker shaft. Yeah, where's the hole? There's the little ball that goes at the end of the push rod, the clutch push rod. And there's the nut on the end of the main shaft and I'll probably replace that ball bearing in there too, they're fairly cheap that. I just used my impact gun to, to zip this off. It's just, uh, it's not left hand thread, it's clockwise. Could have showed that on video, I guess, but. Yep. Put that back on there. Just looking at the dogs, the dogs on the gears in here, and they actually look in really good shape. I don't see any anywhere on them. That doesn't look good there. It's the Kickstarter gear and bushing and it looks like that bushing is starting to slide out and it's really thin and there's a big chip missing out of it right there that's not good so that fits on here That's how that gear fits on there. There's a fair bit of play in there. But that bushing's, bushing's worn and it's chipped and I'm sure it shouldn't be sticking out like that. Looks like it should be pressed in farther. 
Okay, so that goes. Yeah, here's something else to go for. It's the Kickstarter shaft. And this is the engaging Powell here, spring loaded. And often this will get worn right out here. It'll get worn right over a big flat spot on it. And uh, hold this up as close as possible here. And you'll see it's in pretty good shape. You know, maybe it was replaced at one time, but there's a little wear there, but that's, that's still in real good shape. I'll, just, I'll press this bearing out later. Everything else looks good. Clean this gasket up. This shaft here holds the shifter forks in and it's just threaded into the block so uh, I think I can undo that hopefully that'll come undone this is called the knuckle Sure wasn't very tight. There's, there's some wear right there. Not too bad, a little bit of pitting, a little bit of wear, but I think that's, it should be, if there's a notch in here, then the, then the, the shifter forks won't slide, but that's pretty good. That's still pretty good shape there. Looking for wear in here, you know, if it's notched or grooved out or worn out on both sides. There's a little bit of wear there. Straight, not bent. Doesn't look too bad. And any kind of play on the shaft. That looks pretty good. Got some rags today, no more toilet paper. You can see a little bit of wear there. No real grooves or anything like, to me these look, like to me these look really good. A little bit of an edge there. Not too bad though. So that one goes like that. Like 
Ну все, знаешь. It looks like the shifter forks are identical. You could put left front and back or left and right. And there's a part number on each of them. C3, C3, and it's uh, 040112. They're, they're identical. Yeah, those forks are identical. They can go in either way. Okay, here's another gear. Always looking at the gear dogs where they engage. Any notches or grooves are worn out. You can see a little polished area. Hopefully there you can see that. But uh, that looks really good. Like man, I... and look at the teeth. Like there's no pitting or grooves in those teeth. These Powells. They look in good shape. That looks good. This Touch shaft here, so you just bang out with a hammer, just tap it out, the rubber hemallet. This bearing here, I'm trying to heat up. without starting a fire. Okay, with a little persuasion.
All the teeth look really good on this. All the dogs look really good. That's probably high gear, hardly ever used, probably that gear. Yeah, that's in good shape. And, uh, let's see these ones here. Looking inside this housing here, all the rust and sludge in there, like it's just thick with it. This would have ruined all the bearings in there for sure. This is all got to be cleaned out. Probably going to replace all these bearings. That bearing in there is going to be really hard to get out. Unless I can find the, the tool to get it out, special tool. Huh. That's it. It's all apart. Gonna clean these ones up and see what the, they look like. So far, all the gears look great. Really happy about that. All the teeth are good. There's no notches, chips out of it. Try to remember that there's a little bevel on the outside there. The bevel faces out. And uh, yeah, like all the dogs are in nice shape. This is in good shape, this transmission. Surprisingly, with all the oil and water and everything in there. Feels nice and tight on the shaft. No grooves cut into the into the shaft here. And uh, where's the clutch? The clutch one here. Main shaft here. This one here. Like no grooves cut into here either. Where the basket is. The only the only thing that's really damaged in here is the kicker shaft. Um, that bronze bushing in the kicker shaft, wherever I put that. This one here, this is the only, the only one that I see that's not right. That bushing should be pressed in flush. It's got a chunk missing out of it, and it looks like it's worn as thin as paper. So I got to see what I can do about that. I don't know if you can buy that bushing. I doubt it. I might have to have one made. Yeah or buy another gear with a new bushing in it. And this is where it ratchets too, like for the kickstart and all, all these teeth in here. And uh, they all look good too, like no real damage there. Just that bushing, looks like it wasn't set in all the way from the factory. Well, that's a surprise. Okay. First thing was to take it all apart, see what I'm going to need for parts. I'm going to order the bearings. I got the seal, I got the gasket kit. I need the seal kit, and I need a new uh, shifter lever, and then flush and clean everything all out because these gears and shafts, everything looks in good shape. Um, there's there's a list on that Brits website there of of all the things to check for. There's like 26 things. So I'll go through that list again. Check all these bushings. Like this bushing looks like a new bushing in there actually. It looks like somebody put a new bushing in there. And uh, the other thing is too on the, the ratchet powell here for the uh, um, that's for the shifter isn't it there that one? That's on the outer cover or for the kickstart. Like this this little Powell here is in good shape. These things get all rounded off and worn too. 
it's in nice shape. A little rust on these bolts. Yeah, it's in good shape. Order parts, put it back together. This is the lay shaft here. First gear. This is your um, your Kickstarter with the Powell. First, uh, first gear, second, third, fourth on the lay shaft. This is the main shaft. So fourth, third, second, first. This is the one I've got. Has got some damage with that bushing. That bushing wasn't properly pressed all the way in. You can see the chunk out of it. So I don't know if I can order a bushing. I might have to take it to machine shop and have somebody make one. I could probably heat it up and press it a little farther, but it's, it's a little on the sloppy side too, that one. We'll check it out. Anyways, that's it. It's it's all apart, ready for parts. Yeah, that's a, that's a real mess in there. I gotta clean that up. I'm gonna paint this housing like I did the engine casings, and I'm gonna polish the outer cover. Okay, till next one.